Austin City Council met with Austin Energy officials for their work session this morning. Discussions included a recommendation to cap rates at 10% discount for AISD. Other topics included connection and disconnection fees, plus Austin Energy's efforts to negotiate with low-income residents who need the power turned on after being behind on their payments. And churches will get a categorized and, bill, and they'll be billed at a special rate. Keep the sanctuaries in the commercial class. Only charge for weekday demand charges, not for Sunday demand charges, Saturday and Sunday demand charges, and cap the kilowatt hour charges at 12 and a half. Well, something Austin Energy and city officials did not talk about was our latest KXAN News investigation. Last night, lead investigator Chris Willis uncovered hundreds of thousands of dollars in questionable spending at Austin Energy. And Chris joins us live with more on that. Robert Leslie, good evening. Still no response from city leaders about what we've uncovered. More than $600,000 spent on food and awards at Austin Energy at a time when the city-owned utility wants to raise your rates. In fact, we found thousands spent at just about every restaurant in Central Texas, and then thousands more spent on employee outings to places like Dave & Buster's, Main Event, Bowling Alleys, and even the IMAX Theater at the Bob Bullock Museum. In addition to the restaurants and employee outings, we found more than $52,000 spent on gift cards for the employees, tens of thousands on catered events, both on-site and at remote locations. We also found employee lunches, holiday parties, end-of-the-year luncheons, even farewell luncheons for the interns. In all, our investigation found Austin Energy spent $612,138 on food and awards for their employees since 2010. Well, new tonight, we're expanding our investigation. We're now going through data showing citywide spending on food and awards across all city departments. We'll have more on that soon, and we'll keep pushing for answers from the city manager and the council members. And when we do hear from them, we'll let you know.